Hi, you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Wednesday, August 19th, 2015. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service. Well, here's the Atlantic Basin and Tropical Storm Danny continuing to move slowly westward in the central Atlantic. We talked about this storm last night looking very organized at the time. It had a lot of thunderstorm activity with it over a sustained period. Uh, those thunderstorms did dissipate this morning uh, somewhat unexpectedly. Uh, expected this storm to be strengthening today. It has not done so. It's maintaining steady state at the moment. Uh, something got into the circulation, apparently, and really gutted the thunderstorms over the circulation. If we zoom in, we see a very robust low-level spin here in the clouds, but very few thunderstorms around it, and those that are present are not very tall. And it may be that some stable and or dry air got in from the Saharan air layer here and somehow got into the circulation. It's rather hard to say. Some of these things can be a rather hidden hindrance to these systems, very hard to detect without measurements out there. But uh, this is clearly not intensifying as we might have expected based on its presentation last night. Uh, however, the structure is very good. If we look at the microwave pass from about six hours ago, but it's still applicable now, you can see these uh, nice low level bands here in the cyan colors. The only deep thunderstorm is this red spot here. The rest of these are just low level clouds, not really thunderstorms, but it indicates this very nice tight little center. You can see what you might describe as an eye-like feature, though it's not actually an eye, and very tight circular spiral bands here around the center. This indicates a vigorous low level circulation, and you can kind of see that on the visible imagery here. So this is not dying off, this is not dissipating, and a low level structure this robust means that air is uh, converging into those cloud bands and may May promote more thunderstorm activity to renew itself during the overnight hours. Sometimes these weaker systems do a lot better during the overnight hours as the atmosphere is less stable when the sun is not out warming the middle atmosphere. So this may still have a chance to come back tonight and resume strengthening, but it has to mix out whatever air mass got in here and started messing around with it. Everything else is fairly favorable. Wind shear is low. There's lots of uh, moisture in general in this monsoon trough, and if this dry air gets mixed out, there's a lot of moisture to tap into, and sea surface temperatures are warm enough for this to strengthen. So right now, a delay in the expected intensification of Danny, and the NHC has thus adjusted its forecast downward from yesterday, no longer forecasting a hurricane tomorrow on Thursday, delaying that until Friday when they still expect a hurricane. Some intensification, but then weakening on approach to the island, ceasing to be a hurricane by day five, as uh, the factors we talked about yesterday start to come into play. We get accelerating trade winds in a dry air mass, really makes it harder for these storms to maintain a healthy circulation and thunderstorm activity, and there may be an upper trough in the eastern Caribbean that induces some southwesterly wind shear as this gets closer to the Lesser Antilles. But what's really important is the next 24 to 48 hours, because if Danny can strengthen into a hurricane as forecast, then it will be able to survive and remain a potent storm as it moves into the islands. However, storms like this, if they struggle and don't become strong, then they really, really have a hard time once they get out here west of 50 west trying to move into the islands. If this is still a weak to moderate tropical storm and never becomes a hurricane, this is going to be on the edge of dissipating most likely as it enters the Caribbean, which is similar to what the European model currently suggests. Uh, it has to really uh, strengthen itself and become self-sustaining as it comes west if it wants to survive to make it to the Caribbean. So right now, the longer this stays weak, the better the news for the Caribbean islands as this will probably stay weak if it can't strengthen during the next couple of days. Now here's the model tracks. Again, uh, the NHC continuing to show this west-northwest motion. They're on the southern edge of this guidance envelope. A lot of these models may be a little too far north because they show a stronger storm than is likely to occur. Some of these models showing a bona fide hurricane, uh, which we may not be facing at this point. The NHC still forecasts a hurricane, but not a strengthening one as it comes into the islands, but rather a weakening storm. And in this kind of a situation, a strengthening storm will be moving farther to the north here and a weaker storm will move farther to the south, and that's what the European shows, and that's what the NHC is echoing here, is a weaker storm on approach to the islands, slipping through the Lesser Antilles and into the Caribbean itself. And at that point, it would likely meet its demise in the Caribbean. But uh, again, this is about four or five days out. A, a lot can still change. A lot changed in one day with Danny. Yesterday it looked poised to strengthen into a hurricane. Today, not looking so hot. So there's a lot that can change in the short term 
in the tropics. Uh, lots can happen, so be vigilant in the islands. Continue to watch the system as it will likely make a close pass, if not pass right through the islands in about four or five days. In other news, the Central Pacific has a large area of disturbed weather southeast of the Hawaiian Islands. This also may be a threat to land in about four or five days as some models forecast it to curve up to the north and uh, make it rather close to the islands. They, some models disagree on whether it's east of the islands or west of the islands. Very hard to say until this very large envelope of low pressure can consolidate into some kind of tropical storm. The Central Pacific Hurricane Center has a 60% chance of this forming into something over the next couple of days. This will be worth watching for the Hawaiian Islands as well. Of course, tropical storms very rare for this area, but in an El Nino year like this, there may be multiple threats. We've already had a couple that have made it close, and uh, this will be another shot perhaps at uh, getting some tropical weather toward the island. So this will be worth keeping an eye on as well. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.